Hello, everybody. This is Kevin Zoon, creative director at Young Horses on Bugsnacks. I have with me John Murphy, our gameplay designer, and Bryce, the QA lead. I guess we're going to watch people break this game in half. Right. Yeah, I can't wait to, to watch all the, the wonderfully crafted things that we've built be skipped over completely. <laughs> we're doing need good to so far. Yeah. Right. I haven't skipped a damn thing. Uh, well, it started. Uh, <laughs> I believe I did this the very first day, and I <laughs> brought Zoom over to my computer, and they were like, oh, yeah, that happens. <laughs> well, so, okay, so uh, I spent so much time trying to make sure that people wouldn't accidentally fall off that bridge. And so, yes. of course, the key to everything is fall doing it on purpose. Yeah. Yeah. Me and Zoom talked very early about all these potential skips, and the decision was... Well, as long as people won't like and accidentally run into them, then why not just leave them? I mean, here they have completely ignored Philbo at the start. Philbo doesn't care. He's still ahead of you. <laughs> I, I like that they also managed to skip uh, the, the whole flashback scene with Clumby. Oh, well, that's mm -hmm. true. They, uh, no need for backstory or context. Philbo just still has to get his ass kicked by a bunger, though. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't get to finish his entire yell though. That's nice. No, he doesn't. <laughs> That's true. You can really tell which lines we've made unskippable. <laughs> I'm wondering what they're gonna do throwing this ketchup on the trees back there. Yeah, it looks like they're it looks like they're preloading ketchup onto the ground for future. Which I believe is really cool. try to get the bunger closer to the other bunger because you still need the bungers to hit each other. Oh, that is... That's great. Oh, oh. Oh, I see. So they've um, they've captured the bunker ahead of time uh, by using the trap because they don't have the net from Wambus yet. They haven't even talked to him about it. Right. We haven't learned if Philbo survived yet. <laughs> no need to ask. Um, like, yeah, I guess they, they caught the shishka bugs without letting them jump into the bushes. So they didn't need to get the bungers to knock them out of the bush. Are they playing on a lower like resolution? There's no grass, so oh, it must be a true. performance thing to like lower yeah. the quality settings. Right, that probably just just speeds things up a little bit. Does it like load faster? Sure. I um. We should have brought somebody that knows about that into this. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh well. Ah, uh, they've just skipped right past the best joke in the game. Yeah. Oh, nice. They got ahead of Philbo there. I think I made even. They've run in to grab the journal so that they can do Befic's, uh, Befica's quest. I have to do this because this is one of the few places where we actually did make sure that the that the trigger to go to the next level can't yes. hit until you until you go through this. Playtesters yes. would often try to just jump over Philbo. And um, they would succeed. Yep. Yeah, he's like he's like a nice little step ladder to jump over that bush. <laughs> yeah, he bends down. All right. Um so no time flat. They've gone through the tutorial of the game. 318. We've caught what? Three bugs. <laughs> yeah, Four they bugs. didn't have to they didn't have to catch Strabby or Rudel in the first level. That's going to keep a running tally of how many bugs they catch. And so, yeah, here's the one place I decided to disable running for the player. Oh, do you remember this? This used to be so frustrating. Because, like, I would accidentally, like, walk up a wheelbarrow and get stuck in a hole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, because I had disabled jumping also, right? Because mm -hmm. uh, I was really committed to making sure that you... Uh, took like, your time. Couldn't... Yeah, took your time. This is a sad scene. Yeah, he used uh, to talk more as he was walking. That's while true. We were walking with him. Oh, I've also I bet made... you can skip text faster on mouse. That's fun. Yep. Oh, this is nice. Go, climbing up the the rooftops. Uh, they've oh. also uh, they've figured out that in the interviews, some questions are not needed to progress, and so they're only asking the ones that matter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that uh, that mountain perfect. skip right there. That was another one that I, I believe I didn't. I never even reported that to you. 
I think you were walking by at one point and saw me jumping around on the camper. <laughs> That's true. Oftentimes you were jumping around on stuff. Um. All right, this is... Okay, good. Down. Oh, man. Okay, so they've... Yeah, by doing the mountain skip, they have, they have just avoided Unlocked. playing three-fourths of the game, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to go to... They don't need to meet any of the characters. They don't need to to help Snacksburg in any way. They just jump over that one bridge and then this series of rocks, and now they are at the end of the game. <laughs> they can skip four complete biomes of the six biomes in this game. Yeah, not not needing to speak to any characters, not needing to catch any bug snacks. They are now... Uh, what are they doing? They are... Oh, they have warped themselves through this door that takes the entire game to open. Uh, I wonder what's so special about the the trip wire that it that it um, or the it trip shot to... that it glitches the player through things. Yeah, I remember I did it before with the Scoopy Banoopy, uh, where like I was able to knock myself into a corner of the door and phase through. Uh, their skip is much better than mine. <laughs> this is um, I, I can see that I do like, like that okay so on the left here it has the times of every level and so apparently this one takes the longest <laughs> that makes and this sense. is not gameplay well they I can see that they're like scraping against the walls of the under snacks here in an effort to like get through it faster because this is the other place where I disable your ability to run mm -hmm. that's a good point yeah, it feels like a like a racing game or something there, like <laughs> like staying inside of the turns. Yeah. Again, I, I just really wanted to communicate a mood here, so no running. That's... Not that well, I'm managed drift... to speedrunners. <laughs> uh, drifting DLC in the next update. <laughs> uh, around corner, says Bumpus is now. And I hear they're they're interviewing Lisbert. I think unlike Philbo, Lisbert, you have to ask her all the questions. You can skip two, I think. Oh, you're right. Oh, there they go. There are mysteries yet unsolved, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's definitely... I'm not going to say anything, but there's one thing that they haven't found that can speed this up a little. Interesting. I certainly don't know what it is. Why is the Snack Squatch still there? Well, here's the funny thing. It only goes away if you ask the question that they didn't ask. <laughs> <laughs> so if you skip that question, it just stays there. That's, that's great. That. Oops. I don't really have a contingency for that. But yeah, so now they, they've skipped across the dramatic reveal uh, of the entire plot of the game. Uh, no time to listen to the characters talk. <laughs> yeah. It's a real one act structure, and that stru and that act is a third act. <laughs> well, yeah, they're like, uh, they gotta find Lisbert. They find Lisbert. Everything else is just useless fluff. <laughs> right. Let's go meet. Yeah, we're, we're we're on our way back to meet our cast here at the end of the game. <laughs> That's true for the first time. Yep. These characters are gonna talk like they've known you their whole lives. They have yet to see each other. Um. felt really callous to, to walk past Philbo here at the end for some reason. Just run straight ahead of him. Like, yeah, much more than, much more so than, than at the beginning of the game. You it's loser. <laughs> and, yet he, and yet he still beats you. This is what I'm going to say. Philbo's the ultimate speedrunner. This is Floofty. Philbo was in the under snacks before you were. It's true. <laughs> That's right. No matter how fast you run this game, Philbo will always run it just a few milliseconds faster. <laughs> so why even bother trying, speedrunners? <laughs> I'm curious how much of this the, the sequence, the Escape from Snack Tooth, can actually be skipped. I imagine not much of it. And that it says that it's... Be just... Oh. Yeah, it looks like they managed manage to not have to listen to Philbo tell you to go save everyone else. That's interesting. Oh, just by being too far away? I don't. I, I think by uh, hitting. I don't know. Oh, this, maybe I by like, starting. You hit there. They've got it. 
yeah, they've gotten ahead of this. They're sitting in a position to like most efficiently clear out the bug snacks. Well, I think you can one shot the snack heres. Oh, oh like not. get them all for in a line. They didn't do it, but that would be cool. <laughs> I think, isn't it, John, that like if you clear a wave of bug snacks out, the next one immediately shows up. Uh, yeah, uh, I mean, there's like a second or so, but yeah, it, it there's like a, a a fail safe if one of them gets stuck on something and doesn't it doesn't explode. Okay, but the point but, is, like, the faster they, you can get it done. Yeah, so you don't have to if you really efficiently get rid of the bug snacks. Um, you're not sitting there for 15 seconds waiting. <laughs> I like that for for the um, the picantuses. Um, he uh, or they um what, what they they knocked them towards the grumpuses so that like the the component bug snacks just like were eaten because that right. is more That's efficient true. than trying than trying to i do like yeah. that uh we've generally had to see them play this part they they're like engaging in the gameplay for a couple minutes at least yeah good job yeah. john <laughs> thanks between this and yeah i really liked the beginning the um the efficient placement of of, of uh, ketchup, seeing someone yeah. play the whole the whole game with that sort of like strategic technical efficiency would be really awesome. I can't wait to see more of that too. And it's you know slightly heartwarming. I assume this entire run is spoilers, but it is kind of heartwarming that the fastest way to play this part is that you do have to save everybody. Yeah, that mm, is yeah. good. Yeah, everyone. All, all the Grumpuses dying is it's it's a slow, <laughs> uh, <laughs> grueling process of force feeding. Oh, I like this. They're not even locking on. Yeah, yeah it's like more. It's, it's, down yeah, it's it's more uh, reliable because occasionally the the um, tracking of the position is a little bit off, as we were talking about earlier. And the the splatters are like in very consistent spots because the the they're they're hitting. It's the, cool. They're they're anticipating where the spawns are going to be. They're launching it before the bugs are even there. Mm -hmm. Making sure that the splash damage hits all three at once. I got to imagine like when you're doing these runs, this is like the frustrating part because if you miss one, then like you have to launch a whole new barrel, and that's. And that's it. Yeah. Someone else is gonna take the prize of fastest. <laughs> yeah, there's money in this, right? <laughs> <laughs> there's some like underground speedrunning league. So this is gonna be interesting. Yeah. Probably just oh, gonna, they just run roll. out. Yeah. Oh, cool. They've taken like a center position. On top of this, uh, they're just waiting for more bug snacks to spawn. This is good because there used to be an issue where sometimes if you knocked bugs in a certain direction, I wonder if they're doing it intentionally. Yeah. That if I, you knocked bugs backwards onto those rocks, sometimes they'd get stuck. Yeah, I only it's because the those those rocks are missing a tag that makes them count as a surface to splatter against. I actually just fixed that yesterday. So <laughs> new speed running tactic, John. Mm -hmm. I found it like two days before, like our final patch before launch, and it was just like, well, you can still beat the game, so yeah, <laughs> I want to go to bed. <laughs> yeah, so they're just kind of like anticipating once again, leaving it where the bugs will just kind of naturally walk into the ball. I am kind of amazed though that there's no like you still have to do them all. Yeah. It feels like, I mean, kudos to us. It feels like there would have been some exploitable war or more exploitable way for this. Like some way to just kind of like get on the boat and leave without talking to anybody. <laughs> right. All the all the grumpuses are just kind of staring at you as you fly away. Yeah, it's uh it is amazing that like the most gameplay we've witnessed is at the very end. <laughs> Right, and, and has nothing where you do catching bug snacks. Yeah, exactly. It, I mean, I think it's because it's the most linear part of, and like constrained part of the game. That's um, true. For sure. It's kind of like a section of like midway arcade games. 
Mm -hmm. So yeah, they're similar idea, just putting sauce where the bug snacks are gonna be. Right between where the bug snacks are gonna be. So like they oh, have yeah, to walk yeah, yeah. the shortest distance to hit the splat. And they don't even look. The explosion happens without looking. That's how cool it is. <laughs> no scopes and bug snacks. Okay, so they've saved everyone. They're heading back. Though they're going to nope. hit this. But if they get on this boat before these two get on... Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> saved by the cutscene. Yeah. Although the player's having trouble uh, getting onto it, but I guess that doesn't matter. <laughs> Got a nice little look inside of Trifony's face right there. <laughs> so yeah, I think like all this is is just playing out as a cutscene. I don't think they can have make this happen any faster, which is good. Witness yeah, now it's just like story, a story on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can you run on the beach? Yeah, right. Oh, okay, I think so. Yeah, I guess we'll find out in a sec. Let's do some sad, tinkly piano music for a bit. Yeah, so do you feel emotionally fulfilled, speedrunner? <laughs> <laughs> That's the real question. Was it worth it? I mean, they saved everyone in record time without putting them in that much danger, so That's yeah. True. Yeah, I like the lesson learned by this version of the game. <laughs> but I am alive, so... Yeah, here they are, sprinting for the finish. They jumped over Pefika's head to save time. <laughs> That's That's just showing off. Yeah. <laughs> Bugs Next 2 is definitely going to be a Madden game. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, no need to talk to Phil well, out there. Oh, this is cool. I wonder if you can beat Floofty. Can you be the first one out of the beach? Maybe. Now they've skipped across all this epilogue dialogue, and now the game's over. Wow. So is that where they call it the end? Yeah. Wonderful. Look at that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, good job, everybody. I think we made a really good, emotionally resonant and satisfying game. I think everybody learned a valuable lesson about uh, capitalism. <laughs> <laughs> you spend six years on a 15 minute long game, feels good. <laughs> that's right. I, mean, I guess that's it. That's the run. Yeah. Um, any last words? <laughs> Working as intended. <laughs> <laughs> well,. That's Bug Snacks. It's out now on PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, and the Epic Game Store. Uh, give it a look. It's a lot of fun, especially if you play it for longer. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's a story. You're going to love it. <laughs>